Hello and welcome back to our channel. I'm Dawn, 256 Masters Marathon Runner. And I'm John, 242 Marathon Runner. And today we're going to take you through our first impressions of the Skechers Go Run Razor Excess. <music> Onto the sketches. Yes, the Go Run Razor Excess. They're a pair of shoes we've both bought. We've had them a couple of weeks. I've done about 25 miles each in them. Um, have to say, a very impressive shoe. So we're just off for a short run now. When we come back, we'll give you our full first impressions of the Skechers Go Run Razor Excess. If you want to keep up with our training, running, racing, and review content, then please hit that subscribe button. It doesn't cost a penny. It helps the channel to grow, and it means you won't miss any of our forthcoming content. See you in a minute. <laughs> Everybody. and now we're back from a short run that we've just done at the back of our house on fields and trail um, and while we're on the run John and I discussed the shoes and we came up with four words that we felt described those shoes so the words are smooth efficient poppy and light so a little bit about the specification of the shoe yes yeah, so for my um, size tens they're weighing at just over 200 grams which is just about right for me i like my shoes anywhere between about 150 to the low 200s and um, they've got hyperburst foam on the sole which you find is really nice and smooth when we're running um, there's a 30 millimeter uh, foam on the heel and 26 millimeter on the forefoot so just a four millimeter drop so how did you find them done? Yeah, so at first I thought the shoe would might be a little bit light for me and a bit close to the ground because I'm used to something with a little bit more stack. However, when I got out in them and, and ran on the trail, I found they were quite springy and had quite a nice amount of cushioning underneath. So, and I do actually like, like light shoes. So, um, so far, so good. For myself, when I get a pair of shoes that's over 200 grams, my first thought is, long run shoes easy day shoes and that's how i use them at first for my sort of three to five mile runs and one slightly longer run mm -hmm. but actually having been out them on a previous occasion they're actually quite springy and we did a one of our explosive hill sprint sessions the other day in them um, so finding that they're useful for that faster work as well as the general work for me <clears throat> So a little bit more about how the shoe feels in terms of fit. We have a lightweight mono mesh upper, uh, which we feel adds to the lightness of the shoes. The heel counter is quite cushioned and makes for a comfortable fit. The shoes were true to size. Um, we bought the sizes that we would normally buy, 10 for me, five and a half for Dawn, and the toe box was quite comfortable. The shoe has a wide on the ground platform and we found quite a broad fit, didn't we? So there was a comfortable ride, but you might need to think carefully about the thickness of the socks you wear because you want to avoid your, your, your feet moving about too much. Yeah, I found that um, my heel just felt like it was moving around just a little bit. So I laced my trainers up slightly differently so I could pull the heel in tighter and I found that that actually worked. So we're going to give these shoes a mark out of 10 in five different areas and we think our scores will help you decide whether the Skecher Go Run Razor Excess is the shoe for you. So we hope you've enjoyed our review of the Skechers Go Run Razor Excess. So until next time, keep on keeping on. Keep on keeping on. Thank you.